What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You know what it is. Welcome to the strip. Welcome to the shop. Welcome to the app. Coffee Talk app. It's your boy, Big Dean in the building. It's been a couple days, you know, I like to do. Shout out to all my supporters, you know, new and old, continual. Uh, shout out to my subscribers, new and old, continual. And, um, you know, without further ado, let's just get into it. You know, shout, you, go, you, you know, moments where the heart is. Shout out to Coolin' and the Crew, T3 the Polar Bear. Shout out to Mr. Skinny TV. Shout out to Star in the Star Report. Shout out to LLC. Shout out to uh, Dominique LeBleu. Shout out to Supine Kalmut. Shout out to Dream. Shout out to Kalag. Shout out to Mighty Whitey. Uh, give me a shout out to... Um, oh my goodness, what is her name? Uh, it was just over there. Um, um, well, you know, they come and they go through my mind. They be slipping. But I do want to get into this topic. But this is a silly one. And I think that I don't want y'all to really get really, really too wrapped up in what I'm about to talk about. And you'll, you'll know why. So how y'all been though? Leave a comment down there. Let me know what's going on. How's the kids going? How how did school, uh, the restart of school go for you guys with uh, with kids? You know, like I said, this is a community. This a this is a a coffee shop. So you know, come here. Leave comments and engage. This ain't barbershop talk. This is. Coffee shop talk. So yeah, let's get into this one, man. Look, um, quiet quitting. Um, I don't know if y'all really hip to what that is. Oh, shout out to Magnificent Tyler. I don't know if y'all really uh to what that is so we got quiet quitting i'm gonna i can sum it up real quick quiet quitting is simply just employee disengagement before you go too far into your thought of what quiet quitting is. it got nothing to do with you losing your job but everything to do with employee disengagement what do i mean when i say employee disengagement i mean well then disengagement of the employee's mindset duh so it's it's the employee not continuing to go above and beyond to do extra things. No extra duties. You know, you ain't trying to stay over, over time and, and get you some little perks. You ain't trying to come in early. You know what I'm saying? And... They're calling it employee disengagement because, you know, at, at, at most job you have to be engaged in your job, regardless of what it is. So when you carry this nonchalant attitude as if you're here just to do this small portion of job description and then be on to the house. Okay, now that sound good. And in theory, that's how a lot of people like to portray themselves. I see I hear I used to hear people say it all the time. Well I ain't I didn't come here to be nobody's friend. I came to do my job, my eight and I'm out. And yeah, well, nah. So quiet quitting. I'ma tell you, quiet quitting is gonna get your ass loudly fired. You hear me? Cause look, see there's some there's some shit you just can't avoid when you work a job. When you work for somebody else, there's some things you just can't avoid. So, you're tired of working. Or you're tired of the conditions of work. So, you want to quiet quit. Which is you continuing to come to work. But, 
in low vibration. <clears throat> so you're going to continue to come to work. You're not going to take out the trash that you always take out. You're just going to take out two bags. You know, you usually clean out the lunch cafeteria when all the employees is done. You ain't doing that no more. You ain't sanitizing. You're just going to brush the shit on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Sweep it over into a pile. You, you know, you usually clean the bathroom on the way out. You know, just stuff that uh, employee morale changing things. Now, I get it. Because what you're saying is when you do this and you send that message that I'm not against working for you. I just don't like the conditions that you got me working for you in. I can understand that to a certain degree, but here's the, here's the problem. People are quiet quitting with car notes. People are quiet quitting with, with, with kids at home. People are quiet quitting with doctor bills and, and shit like that's important that's due. So we can't promote the thought process of quiet quitting as much as I would promote the process of standing on your own and challenging what's going on or bringing up what's going on and then knowing and being strong enough to just quit. See, I didn't quit. I never quiet quit it. I quit. I, did, I don't fuck with the two weeks and none of that shit. When it's over, it's over. See, I could feel like this in the middle of a day. I've done this. I've quit a job in the middle of a gigantic dinner rush in a restaurant job. I'm talking about exit, stage right, period. I ain't got to tell you nothing. It's over with. So some people, are, oh man, that's not good work ethic. And see, that's all y'all who caught up in the American dream thinking that your last job is really going to weigh in on your new job. Stop the madness. Most people's last job have nothing to do with their new one. Unless they're in a profession or a field in which it's carrying over. You understand what I'm saying? Like STNA going into nursing or going into a hospital. It's closely related to what the person does. You know, it's not uh, opposite ends of the spectrum. So you got these people that's quiet quitting because they feel overworked. COVID hit. So you got stiff working conditions and 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 just it's grueling for the people. And like I say, I definitely understand the feelings of the people when you're put in a position like that. But what I'm telling the people is, that's why it's mandatory that you educate yourself here on cyberspace. You educate yourself in this computer land because this computer land is here to stay whether you agree with it, like it, are able to navigate it or not. It's here. It's not going anywhere. See, when you quiet quit you put yourself also in the way of others you know because every job got the haters that's trying to climb so the hater have noticed you quiet quitting and it's dropping a dime on you now you find yourself loudly unemployed but you got kids to feed or, sir, you got a car to keep up because you got to get the, the wife and the kids back and forth to work or school. And even if you have separate cars, you have to still tend to your daily duties to get your bread in. So we're not, a lot of us is not in the spaces to really practice quiet quitting. And then a lot of us is not educated enough to know how to quiet quit properly and make it effective. You see, you can stop your duties or slow down or don't overwork yourself. 
but I've never done that anyway. When I get hired, I already understand that you're hiring me specifically for what it say right here. That's my argument all the time. That's the law. And anytime when you hand me duties that could put my health or strain my body or is outside of what is described that I was hired for, I can tell you no, and I can tell you no with these rules with no consequences because it should be lawful. That's in another world, though. Because in this one, employers don't give a fuck how you feel when you start slowing down and doing goofy shit like that. They ready to get your ass the fuck up out of here. So quiet quitting, to me, is really just bullshit. It's really just you slacking off. That's it. So we back to this shit where they handing you terms and titles and definitions of shit that make no sense whatsoever. And who, who, who gives a fuck? If the job becomes too much for you, say something. See, that's all that passive aggression shit. They, and this is a thing. They're trying to teach you how to use quiet quitting. So y'all got to understand how this shit work. Nothing is continually or largely talked about unless the powers that be have it as an interest. The information. So mind you, if you're starting to hear a lot about this and it's popping out, and you think it's becoming a fad, but it's not becoming a fad. It's always been here. People have always done this. People that have worked jobs have always quietly quit. It's always been some of them on the job. We just never called it that. You're just a fucking slacker. Or you're laying off. So here we have that quiet quitting thing. And somewhere down the line, this is my theory. It's going to gain some type of political traction or some power behind it to where it might become something that can actually be um, practiced and hold no consequences. But that can only happen if we stand behind that, if we all believe that this is what it is, is we can make anything what it is because that's what they do with the laws. What do you think they come up with? Laws aren't bright ideas. Laws is shit that a couple of the guys are sitting around or women or whoever, and they sitting around and saying, hold on, if this go and then that go and then this go, but in the end, it also has to, you have to over enter and understand that what they're doing only is being done because it's profitable for them. In a capitalistic society, the powers that be only move in accordance to capital. So get your own business. Start your own business. See, we're dealing with a generation now that's the end of ours, it's on the cusp. And then it's the beginning of this new type of situation where a lot of entrepreneurship is taken off. And it's, it's able to be done and, and successfully laid out because of this internet. So that's why I tell people it's vital that you get you a lane in here. You don't have to be a YouTuber. You don't have to be a TikToker. The computer is wide open. There's a multitude of things that you could do to get profit. I'm just saying, if you find yourself in a position to feel like it's necessary for you to quiet quit, then you might as well just quit. Because if it was unhealthy Monday and you didn't feel right Monday and Tuesday, then a month later... When you find yourself wanting to quiet quit, it was because the situation was never addressed to where it can come to some resolution or 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 or, or, or to see what's going on. 
Quiet quitting is coming from a weakness point. And so many times I try to tell us we just don't want to be accountable. And we'll, we'll grab these titles and these names and shit and take off with that shit like, you know, instead of just saying, man, for real, for real, this job ain't for me. You're settling. So see, a lot of people settle because the income is good for their situation. So they get the job and ooh, it's, it's, it's going good for their situation. Next thing you know, they locked in. They've been there two or three years and they're really tired of it. It's really something they, they didn't plan on doing for a long um, duration. But they're, they're, they're trapped now because they've left that income that they thought was a better or a higher income. They let it trap them into a lifestyle, a status point. See, when you free think and you live free and you work for you and you operate your own time framing, you don't have a lot of these different feelings and, and emotions and, and setbacks and mental collapse that the average person is having because you're not uh, per se plugged into that particular program. Don't quiet quit when it's over. It's over. Just quit. Like, comment, share. Subscribe, all bell notifications. Jump down in that description. Join the Discord. You know what it is. Big Dane over here at the coffee shop. Thank you for stopping by.